Hello. In this short video, I'm going to look at exploratory testing within Worksoft Certify. I've opened Worksoft Certify and I'm in my Requirements module. I can see I have a category for order to cache requirements and exploratory testing. What I'll do is actually add a new requirement to document that I'm going to do my exploratory testing. I'll give it a time, say 30 minutes. The key with exploratory testing is to time box your testing and kind of identify what you're looking for. This makes it a good candidate for automation later and to document what you've actually accomplished. So now that I've documented what I'm going to explore, I'm going to come over to SAP. I'm going to start my capture. So I've begun my capture. In my case, to help organize my things, I want to just put a comment inside of here. So I remember what my, my exploratory testing was. Come into my SAP GUI. Start filling out my forms. Put in my quantity. Okay, I can see my product looks correct. I've got my quantity items there. I'll go in and save. Go to my next transactions. I'll look this guy up. I can see my discount. Well, I don't see my discount there. So let's see. If I do my full display, I can see my 10 units there. I'm not seeing a discount was applied. So in this case, I'm going to go in and fail my exploratory test. So I'll just add a comment. Fail. So that way I kind of understand what I did before. Okay, I can keep going on, or in this case, I'll go in and end my capture, because that's everything I'm going to explore at this point. And I'll just save that to disk. So I can go on and do this over and over again for each one of the things I want to explore. And once I've done with all that work, what I'm going to do is import my exploratory tests into Certify. So I've got my requirements. Now I'll go to my processes. I'll go over into my working folder. And what I'm going to do is import my exploratory test. So you'll see there's a new menu item called Import Exploratory Test. I'll point to my XML file and I'll import. Um, we actually auto-identified this as part of an SAP accounting system. And I've actually imported all my steps. So now, what's the difference between this and a normal test case? Well, if I look at my results, I'll see when I bring in an exploratory test, I have a category, exploratory tests, and I can see that I've run this and it failed. If I double click and go look into my results, I'll see the details. Okay, so I can see that I entered VA01. I can actually go to the step images and I'll see all my core images of every field I interacted with. So I'm building documentation of my process, how I did this, what I created. And in this case, at the end, I failed it, and I said I did not see the discount. So from an exploratory testing perspective, I now have a result which shows what's happened within the system. If I were to go to print this, what will happen is you'll see I get a script which describes the data I put into the system. I entered VA01 in the OK code, 
OR into the order type field. So I've got my manual test case associated objects there. And if this was for production, maybe this is important, I'm, I need to notify someone. So what I can do is actually um, send this to another system. So maybe I want to export this defect, send this defect to ServiceNow or JIRA for development to look at it. Or I could go generate any of the reports in BPP or the detailed reports available. So I've taken um, an idea. I need to do an exploratory test on a price. I've documented my requirement and I've created um, an exploratory test. In this case I failed it versus passed it and I can take it full lifecycle and submit that defect into say ServiceNow or JIRA. Now um, for my next iteration I'd want this exploratory test to turn into an automated regression test. So I'm going to come back to my processes. I've got this here. So the first thing I'm going to do is a little bit of bookkeeping. I'm going to say um, I want to actually link this thing to my um, to my requirements. So I can see these are all the steps. I've got an automated test case that's generated for me. And I've got requirements. I'm going to go um, add requirement. Now if you remember, I said I've got order to cache requirements from my exploratory tests. And this is where I was looking at the, um, the quantity discount. So I'm going to highlight that and click OK. So I now have associated an automated test that automatically was generated for me with this requirement. In this case, I've got my automated test um, that was generated through my exploratory test. I'll just kick it off and you'll see it starts to run. So the actions that happened during my exploratory testing were automatically converted into a functional test for me. So the great thing about using Worksoft Certify for exploratory testing is you have a jump start into building your regression test and your automation. What will happen is as users document their exploratory tests, you'll get functional tests generated along with the results that can be submitted to your defect tracking system. And then you can actually view them and harden them later for your regression bed.